What's up guys, it's Jay with Bearded Dad Fishing and I am in my new to me autopilot 136 and uh, first day on the water so I'm gonna give you my initial thoughts and on the water review but before we get to that dad joke of the day why aren't chickens allowed in church because they use foul language all right so we're out here in Lake Wallen Paw Pack I've been on this autopilot 136 for a good six hours and uh, let me tell you man this thing is a beast all right it is big it is heavy and uh, it's amazing all right so this thing is 13 and a half feet long 37 inches wide and fully loaded with the motor and the seat is 158 pounds so definitely not a small kayak uh, it has a killer weight capacity of 660 pounds. That's crazy, all right? Uh, really big kayak, meant for big water. Uh, I mean, I haven't taken it through the courses yet of, of crazy weather or big chops or anything like that, but I'm excited to take it through that. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you, this thing is crazy stable. Uh, I mean, I can, I can stand like nothing this thing i mean and there's the deck space is ridiculous i mean i got like two feet in front of me just cleared up so that's the that's the trolling motor it's a 45 pound uh thrust trolling motor and uh it's so it sits in the front and uh it's really intuitive we'll go over the control in a little bit but it got a remote control uh my overall thoughts on this thing besides it being big and heavy uh, is that it's stable, it's spacious, has plenty of uh, storage and accessibility, uh, and it's it's been really cool to, to try out for the few hours that I've been out here in the water, but uh, just to give you an idea of how stable it is, I mean, I'm kind of just like stepping back and forth, and this thing, I mean, it rocks a little bit, like it's like a boat's supposed to do, but super, uh, super stable out here, and it's a beautiful day on Lake Wall and Paw Pack. A little bit chilly this morning, um, with my buddy Fernando, aka the F train, we got out here uh, like at 730. We got to the launch and it was a cool 38 degrees. So a little bit chilly, but gorgeous day nonetheless. Nobody on the water, which is surprising. Um, but yeah, we out here and uh, yeah, I like this thing. So real quick, just some of the features while I'm up here is it has a, a center hatch in the front. So it's not super big, but it's big enough if you want to put like a yak power switch or something in there, run your electricals. Uh, then, and it has the carry handle too, to uh, make it a little bit carry. Not that you'll be carrying this thing a lot with as big and as heavy as it is. You got your trolling motor. So it's a Minn Kota power drive. On either side, you got some rails, right? So this is the photic camo. So the rails are orange on this one. And you also have the the rudder controls here right so you it's like these little pedals so you just push it and then that's how you steer with your rudder rudder and your rudder deployment is right here on your left hand side so real easy and uh, it's nice i caught myself using it quite a bit when i'm on a drift uh, or if i get to a spot and the wind's moving me a little bit i could just self-correct with that without having to click on the motor and like i was saying it has a remote control the iPilot. And it's uh, pretty intuitive to use so far. I mean, I still have uh, learning to do with it, that's for sure. But it has spot lock, which is really nice. So basically, once you get to a place you want to stay at and you don't want the wind to pick you up or take you around, you just hit the little anchor button on the bottom here and that locks you in with the GPS. So that way you stay within five feet of where you hit that. So what it'll do is the motor will kick on and just drift you however it needs to to keep you within five feet of where you hit that button so that is cool i did notice that when the wind was picking up earlier it it spins you so even though you stay where you want to stay at you're not facing the direction that you necessarily want to be facing so i mean it just it has its places for sure um as far as speed with this thing uh so far it goes up from in half increments half I don't know measurements or whatever from zero to ten, so you can go four and a half, five and a half, etc. 
uh, and at 10 I was getting just under 4 miles per hour so the highest I've seen it hit so far was 3.9 miles per hour and that's probably because of the kayak is so big it's so heavy uh, with the lighter like the 120 I'm sure you'll go past the 4 miles per hour also I'm 250 pounds so if you're a smaller guy you'll probably make it above that 4 miles per hour but it's uh, it's cutting pretty pretty good through the water and uh, it's nice for sure so as far as storage goes, right on your left hand side, you got a little pocket here. So this is your, your um, by the way, your motor deployment. So all you do if you wanna bring your motor up is you just pull this and your motor comes up. And then same thing, you pull it down and it has this little cleat right here that holds the, holds the rope down. But anyway, so you have a pocket on your left hand side and uh, that's just where I've been putting this. And then on your right hand side you got three other pockets um i don't have everything situated of where i want it not even close but so I, you got a pocket here big enough for pliers or whatever uh, and then two other ones you also have two cup holders one on either side and i'm a big fan of the cup holders because i always bring my coffee by the way check out my yeti bearded dev fishing that joint is lit all right anyways on your right hand side you also have the kill switch so it's probably good to keep this attached to you, which is exactly what I'm not doing. But uh, if the motor's running and this comes out, then the mo it kills the motor, just like uh, it says, kill switch. You also, on the left-hand side, you have enough space for three tackle boxes. So it's hard to see, but I got three of them in there. So they're just 3,600 Plano boxes. Uh, so that's a really nice feature to have those those boxes close to you because under your seat like i have in my pdl i have storage under my seat you don't have it here because under you is where you put your battery so i have a 100 amp hour lithium battery that's tucked in right here and that's for the trolling motor uh, it's nice because it has the connection right there so the, it comes with a box you just wire it up to your terminals and then you connect the box into the plug and that powers your trolling motor up front so that's kind of it for the storage in the front and then in the back you have this crazy massive tank well all right like this thing is huge i got my crate back here and it only takes up maybe a third of the total space uh so you can put a lot and i got my cooler and i mean you have enough space back here to put a chair i've seen some really cool ideas of people putting chairs back there uh for their little kids you could put your dog back there or whatever uh, i mean you could probably put another grown human in there if you want to turn this into a can a tandem type of kayak uh, in addition in the back you also have your rails on either side so i got my yak attack 360 light right back there oh and i did miss something for the storage on your right hand side here you have your dry hatch which is really nice so it's it has a rubber seal around it so it stays dry in there but it's a great place to keep your phone your wallet your keys whatever you don't want to get wet um, and in, in addition to that it has these bungees so you can put something down there that can get wet so it's very similar to the drive that's inside or in the middle of the uh, i'm sorry the hatch that's in the middle of the drive on the pdl version so about the same size a little bit deeper if anything uh, the seat's pretty comfortable uh, it has a high and a low position right now i'm sitting in the high position so it's this right here the low positions just one down uh it's I mean, I've been in the high position the whole time and it's really comfortable and it's uh, haven't used as my seat cushion or anything. So I'm drifting into the shore here. So let me pop this remote on so you guys kind of see how it moves. Right. So you just hit the center button and uh, that turns on your motor and then your plus and minus changes the, the speed up here. So you see it goes in increments and in half increments. So you got three and a half, four, four and a half, five. So I've been using it like at a six to get around. Like I said, it goes up to 10. You know, I'll tell you your miles per hour. Again, this is uh, GPS connected. So that's how it's getting that information. And, uh, and you can easily steer with this. When you use these little arrows here, you'll see the head moves. So it's sweet. I mean, it, it's quick. As soon as you hit the button, it goes. So. It's connected via Bluetooth. You can also download the app so that you have it on your on your phone and uh, you can steer it that way in case something happens to your control. So with the rudder, so if you keep this straight ahead, 
You can also steer with the rudder, with the rudder controls on the side, which is nice. I mean, I haven't really been doing that. I've been messing around with the control while I've been out here. But it's a good option to have, like I said, especially if, like once I turn this on, if I want to, or turn the motor off, if I want to stay on a drift or I want to face a little bit to the side, you know, I'm facing more towards the bank. If I want to face more towards the open water, then, you know, I'll kick it on the left side and it, it'll drift me over while I'm moving. So as little as I thought I'd be using those rudder controls, I've been finding myself using them throughout the day. Uh, so that's a nice touch. Uh, like I said, overall, great kayak, very big very heavy make sure you have a way to get it around so i did bring it in my truck bed today not the best experience loading and unloading it however i'm gonna be trailering this next year so this is the one time i'll probably get it out this year over the winter time i plan on making some really cool adjustments just like i made on my uh my sportsman 120 pdl i need to add the yak power switch system to it i need to add another transducer so i can for the fish finder i'm going to add a transducer and a power cable and that way i could just switch my my garmin uh, 93sv to whatever kayak i'm using without having to mess everything up so i'll be doing that uh, like i said adding some lights some bow lights some some uh, stern lights i want to add some button lights so i mean again great kayak very stable definitely recommend it big dude like me even bigger you're gonna be super stable and secure in this thing so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it make sure you check the other videos like the like the video subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions hit me up in the comments below and uh, that's it till next time peace and god bless